Hello, hot ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my tube of living to your highest potential. I am Aubrey Apple, and I'm here to talk about twins. Aren't they a very interesting creature? I mean, 99.999999% they are identical. Now, my twins are identical twins. I did not have any identical twins in my family, and so is their father's side. And I've asked my family, like, we don't know any twins. And we did have a uncle many times removed that is paternal twins, but not identical twins. They are a fluke of nature, and they're very, very special and funny because they're very different even if they are identical. Now, my twins was very much a surprise. And when they were babies, I was struggling a lot of having them and not having families in my island here in Maui, where I live, not really like my island, but like where I live. So when they were babies, I have a different chapter of like hardship. Now that they're four years old and their personalities start blossoming like a forest, I started to like figure them out. And my advice to those who are mothers out there who have twins or are expecting twins and you want to expect the future, well, let me tell you this. Their personality is completely different from the personalities of your twins. And my advice is that to pay close attention to their personalities. One of my twins is very much sensitive. I mean, she's a little bit more, whoa, the light just like came in. <laughs> Hi. I have a sunroof on this side and I wanted just like, and I wanted just like a little light, but not like friggin halo light. But we're just gonna have to use this because I have a busy schedule ahead of me and this is my video for today. So as I was saying, one of my twin daughters is a little bit more sensitive. And when she gets upset, she has this tendency of going to her bedroom, even sometimes slamming the door. She only done it one time and I kind of told her that if she slams the door and it, it will break, that she won't have any doors to close her room. So she just goes to her room now and she just, I don't know what she does, she just pout in there and just sob in there and she does her own thing. Now, being a Filipina mom who has also a lot of personality, that wasn't allowed for me in my own like background. Like, don't you walk away from me, right? <laughs> but. Then I never really said it to her. I think I did one time when she was like three. Like I told her, don't you walk away from me. But it's just, I heard myself say that and I was just like, she's three years old. She's not like trying to step on my ego. So I quickly just diffused my ego and let her just walk away on her own. And that's her style of coping up things. And when you're an adult, you actually get told or advised to slow down walk away when you're angry before you could say something that before you say something that's not nice before you hurt each other walk away diffuse so she's doing that and I should just let her do that because she is diffusing the frustration she is trying to take care of her emotions and I do want her to be emotionally intelligent so I let her just walk away go to her room now the second one when she's upset she is more like in your face i'm gonna cry i want you to see my suffering so i am going to cry in front of you and she, she's definitely much more of a she is definitely much more of like that touch love language when she's upset she just needed to be touched or hugged or tickled any of those would work so when they are on their own little frustration, I let them have their own little frustration. That's my advice when you have a toddler and they're forming their personality. My second advice is that when they are doing something and one is doing better than the other, one of my daughter is physically strong. Like she could finish a monkey bar like 
without a blink of an eye she could just bomb a hill with her trike bike and just fall and just let's just be okay she's so strong right and the other one is much more elegant in her own ways so she is strong as well but she's she couldn't finish a monkey bar she's not as like gutsy as the other one and she's like oh I can't finish it why can't I finish it and normally you know when you're not like a mindful individual you're gonna be like why why are you different your sister could do this and why can't you finish that vegetable your sister did it and you guys are identical twins they're 99.9999 percent identical they should be able to have the same capacity of strength but technically not really <laughs> not as i've seen now the not so strong child the sensitive one when she was a baby she was excelling she was the first one to walk she was the first one to roll in her belly she was the first one to say the words she was the first one the strong one the not so sensitive one developed a sense of strength i don't know maybe she knew that she wasn't as physically strong so she kind of like become physically strong at her own will i don't know but she is strong now i tell my other one the sensitive one Aurora that she is just special in her own way and that she doesn't have to finish the monkey bar I don't compare them I don't embarrass them and my advice is that do not compare them even as simple as food well your sister finished her vegetable actually my daughters finished their vegetables they do I have never had a single problem of my daughters finishing the vegetable I hear myself most of the time saying stop eating the vegetable eat your white rice you are Filipina <laughs> right? so yeah I never had a problem with that and they love their healthy stuff they love their fruits and chocolates and whatnot they would ask for it but they don't really like not into it so yeah I don't really tell them about the food compare the food part because they eat well and that's what I'm really thankful for they can eat a lot and a lot of healthy stuff so I'm just trying to say if your one child is eating better than the other one don't say why are you eat why are you not eating your sister is finishing her food or your brother is finishing your food do not compare do not embarrass them not even in front of their sister or their brother it will hurt them and that and that is my second advice is not to compare them do not embarrass them and my third advice is that when they are frustrated like they're mostly frustrated because they have to share their mothers and they never had that ownness with their mom and when you have one child and you give that child special attention from yay age to yay age great that child has you then if you have a second child you give that second child that attention as well and then the first child the kind of like attention is together but they still do have that separation and they still do have that attention from you in different ways now twins you give them one straight highway attention and they do get frustrated I get frustrated when I can't like <laughs> have a moment to pause and think about what the other is saying the other one is rolling to the conversation uh, she's upset the other one storming out and I'm like what the <laughs> this just happened I get so frustrated and I hear myself saying all the time just give me a break I just wanted the time and if I'm frustrated I'm sure they're very frustrated because at the end of the day they just want to have their mom and they can't have their mom because when they walk in that door they're with their sister they're with their brother or sister in my case and when they get frustrated I try to be more mindful about that and think that they're frustrated and it sucks to just 
not have your mom. I sympathize with them. And it diffused the matter in seconds when I sympathize with them rather than get frustrated. Now, I'm no angel by no means. I do get frustrated as often as I want to, especially when I don't sleep. And sleeping is a little bit difficult nowadays because they roll in my bedroom in the middle of the night and I still can't sleep around them. I never had been able to sleep with them in the same bed as I because I was more conscious when there were babies. I was afraid that I was going to roll on top of them or I was going to push them out of the bed or they might fall out of the bed. I'm very conscious. And even if there are toddlers right now, and I still am more aware, like I'm like, part of my brain is kind of resting, but the second part is attention to them. So when they're in bed and I have a full day and they're all on my case, I get like, ah! <laughs> but I do try to think that, oh, it must suck to have one mom. And then I just like, let them pass and let them say hey listen do you mind if your sister talk to me for just a second let your sister finish or you have this m amount of time to talk and i will set an alarm when we're in a car and one is talking i will tell them hey until that bridge you're done talking it's your sister's turn so there is that like way to like let them have their own time and also when they're frustrated at their own self to let them figure it out together do not be a referee do not be their coach just let just let them just let them have their own argument and let them be let them figure it out my famous line is that you guys figure it out you guys are sister talk to each other i keep saying that talk to each other and if you can't have that one toy and you don't know how to share it together, then no one could have it. That is my rule. You can't have it if you can't share it. I hope this video helps you as much as it helped me. Aloha. Ready, set, go. Stepping into the unknown Waving